So, what we have is a OHV engine in a um, wooden crab boat, about 21 feet long, and um, similar to a Smith Island crab skiff, but a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Actually, has a deep feed in the front. Here, I'll hop out and show you. It's actually it's kind of more like a dead rise. steadily taking it apart. I just wanted to post this video and put this out there and see if anybody else has ever seen this setup before. Just get some feedback on it. It's a Eaton Fuller Series 11 transmission. So it's a, a hydrostatic transmission where you know input power comes in and then your output power. And it actually has infinite variability between forward and reverse gear with this lever so it changes goes all the way from full forward to neutral to full reverse and uh this is a i think it's a 13 horsepower honda 390 and um i plan on replacing it with a predator 22 horsepower v-twin and it originally had a Jabsco marine pump that was mounted right here with this belt that pumped water up and into a Y coming off the exhaust and it actually had a wet exhaust so that's pretty cool I plan on setting that back up I, right now I just have it straight piped for just demonstrating it and testing it out because I mean I just purchased this boat and you know it, I thought it was pretty cool and I just want to take it out real quick and just kind of see what it ran it did i think it did about 11 miles an hour top speed with this engine and with the prop on there which i just assume is some random prop somebody threw on there so it's not really tuned right engine wasn't really working at all really and um but i just wanted to post this and see if anybody else has ever seen this setup oil reservoir here and this is actually RPM test I just did on the engine. So you can see this is that high idle. It was um spinning around 860 on the Eaton and around like 1450 on the Honda. Uh, the engine doesn't run very very good, so I haven't actually pulled the carburetor off. I don't really plan on using this engine. And at full throttle, the engine was between like 36 and and 4,000. It wasn't really running quite consistently but the transmission was spinning roughly you know, 2,000 rpms so it's like it's not quite two to one ratio um but yeah so I just wanted to I'll start it up and show how it works U-joint setup and you can see 
That end's not that bad. That end's pretty, pretty well tore up. And the, uh, the output shaft isn't in the best shape. Kind of tapered down a little more. So I don't really know exactly what I'm going to do. I'm going to try and rebuild this. I think there's a company that rebuilds them for around $1,200. Um, I don't know. We'll we'll see. I might try and do it myself. I don't know if I'm up for it. I don't know. I'm still doing some research. I just want to hear some feedback on it. See if anybody's ever seen this setup before. And um, yeah. So my new build, I plan on rebuilding all this frame out of aluminum. Um, actually cutting this this is a homemade plate somebody made cutting new one out of uh, i got some 3 8 aluminum diamond plate which is 3 8 steel so try and make a new one out of that i've got some like six by six 3 8 aluminum angle try and bolt one on one side running up and then the same on the other side and that'll act as my transmission mount and my engine mount Hopefully try and get it all in line without being too tall. So I might have to notch the keel out a little bit. And I've got some 3 16 aluminum plate. I might sandwich the keel. That way I can get it down a little bit lower to get the transmission closer. And just shorten the whole setup. To try and move the engine closer to the rear of the boat. I plan on putting a little cabin on the front so that'll add some weight to the front but um boat's actually extremely stable in the water it sits really really low but it is very stable i can walk all the way around the sides without it really rocking too much you can see the steering set up not really but it has a steering set up they have some replace it with a, a cable system or a push-pull setup not quite sure yet um, just please uh, comment and let me know what you think love to hear any kind of feedback on if you think it'll work if you think it won't work just really anything probably do some follow-up videos throughout the build maybe maybe just a final final video um and yeah we'll see what happens uh thank you for watching